Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. That really sums up the first inning of tonight's game. This wasn't a baseball game. This was a massacre. This game was like getting shot and then slowly bleeding out for two hours. This game was so bad that I turned on hockey, a sport I wouldn't watch if they were playing in my backyard, and watched two teams that I don't care about and I've already forgotten what their names were. Because that was more fun or less painful than tonight's mess. What a total disaster of a performance this was for the Yankees. And let me just start off by saying this. I know we are only 13 games into the season, although the way the Rays are playing right now, these losses might already be killing our division chances. I know it's early, but it really doesn't matter what month this loss happens, whether it's in April, June, and especially October. It doesn't matter if you just went on a ridiculously long winning streak. It doesn't matter how far ahead you are up in the standings, how well you're playing. A loss like this absolutely sucks. A loss like this just kills you. Because you're sitting there going like, I could have done so many things tonight. I could have gone out in the town. I could have had a date. I could have finished up on Succession. I could have written a book. I could have watched all the Highlander movies. I mean, would that have been fun? No, but again, more fun than this. And let's just get to the main culprit of tonight's performance. And you don't want to pick on him because this was a guy who wasn't even going to be in the rotation until a few weeks ago. Who just made his major league debut, not, not again, two weeks ago. So I don't want to kill him too much, but God, today was rough for Johnny Brito. And it was so disappointing considering how we all were so enamored by his first two starts. It really looked like the Yankees had found that next ace, that found that next guy. And, I, and maybe it was stupid looking back on it to believe that two starts into a career. But he just had something in those first two starts. He was so poised, so calm, so effective. Absolutely none of that today. And I'm wondering, I don't want to make excuses for him, but I'm wondering if there was some sort of injury. Because I'm trying to understand how he could be this bad. His, I'll just give you how his first inning was. Single, single, walk, sack fly, double, double, ground out, double, home run. His final line, two-thirds of an inning, six hits, seven run, one walk, zero strikeouts, only 34 pitches. His ERA ballooned all the way up to 6.75. He was getting zero movement on his fastball. He was throwing them right down the middle of the plate. He got... Zero swings and misses on his fastball. He was just throwing them right up there. And I, I don't know how this happened. I guess, look, growing pains, it's bound to happen. I just, I'm surprised that it went from so effective in his first two starts to having just no movement at all in his third start. But I guess that's, that's a young kid. It's going to happen. I don't understand it, but that's the kind of thing that happens. And I'm not ready to give up on Johnny Burrito because he was so good in these first two starts that it'd be really wishy-washy of me and kind of cold to just give up on him after his third start and his first bad start. But this was such a disappointment from him. It's weird to say I expected more from a kid that, that was this young and only in his third start, but I expected so much more. It was so sad tonight to see him perform this badly. But what are you going to do? Like Again, if you're, when, you, when you're a young kid, this kind of thing is going to happen. It just sucks that we have to watch it. And then the Yankees, I'm recording this actually in the sixth inning. I don't care really what happens. All I cared about for the Yankees tonight was were they going to get no hit. That did not happen. Thankfully, Anthony Rizzo uh, hit a home run in the bottom of the fourth. Whatever happens after this, I don't care because I'm assuming the Yankees didn't come back from 11 down. But what a dreadful drift. Yeah, and I can't even blame the offense because when your starting pitcher gives up nine runs in the first inning like that, it's almost impossible to pick yourself up off the mat after this. I think this was the first time the Yankees have given up nine runs in the first inning since 2000. So, yeah, Johnny Brito, I, I, this is up there for worst starts I've ever seen from a Yankee pitcher. I mean, I've seen bigger situations where Yankee pitchers have pitched poorly, but in terms of just pound-for-pound pound starts, this might be the worst one I've ever seen. So it was just sad and shocking to watch. And again, just so disappointing to know that right after the first inning, this game's over. You got no point in watching the rest of this. I, I stopped watching. I was listening to my guy Pete Simonetti. I was listening to his live stream, his uh, game season live. I turned that off immediately after that. Like, I, I just wanted to run far, far away from any Yankee content. I did not want to spend any time involved with it. That's how bad this loss was here tonight. And it's so weird that it was the Twins, a team that we usually destroy. We are usually, you know, people will say the Astros are our daddy, and they are. We proudly call them daddy. The Yankees are the Twins' daddy and has been that way for 20 years. If there was one team in baseball you would not have expected to beat up on the Yankees like this, it would be the Twins. So that's what makes this so 
kind of just stunning and leaves me just shaking my head. The twins of all teams did this. But hey, I guess, I guess, you know, every rose has its thorn or whatever the stupid expression is. I guess every, every team has its moment. Whatever. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. This was a bad, bad night for the Yankees. But again, it's only April. There's nothing to panic about yet. There's nothing to worry about too much yet. But it's frustrating to watch this. It's frustrating to think about. It was a terrible night for anyone who went to the stadium where it was so bad for, or anyone who watched this garbage on TV. What does matter in the grand scheme of things is that the Yankees are now five games out in the American League East. And yes, we have a long way to go in the season, but if the Rays keep playing like this, it's going to be very difficult to make those up, those games up. And hopefully the Yankees will be able to. Once they get their rotation fully healthy, they'll be able to bounce back. And, you know, we won't be five games out that much longer. But God, this absolutely sucks. Hated it. Oh, well. On to the next game. Let's hope and pray that tomorrow is better because I cannot deal with this again. Nestor, your only hope, buddy. That's it for now, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the show, make sure you see. Make sure you subscribe down below. I'll be back tomorrow with a reaction to Yankees and Twins. And then don't forget NYPD immediately after the game on Friday night around 11 o'clock. So tune in for that. Take care and God bless.